now that we've set up access, both local access on the console port and remote access on the Ethernet port by setting up the VTY lines or the VTY ports, virtual terminal ports, to the router for Telnet and let's say SSH. We've configured it for Telnet but not SSH yet. Um, so we have local access and remote access to the router. It's time to now start um, implementing some security on the router. So once again, we're going to um, get a command line interface to the router. I'm going to cheat by just clicking on the router and using the command line interface here. Notice there is a password. It's a weak one, Cisco. And there's enable password. Uh, the enable password, type enable, hit enter, and put in the password. I put the same password for it which is also weak security. But what we could do is we can now go to global config mode and we'll say conf tab uh, ter tab configure terminal hit enter gets us to global config mode and an easy way to put a basic layer of security on our passwords is to type serv tab service pass tab it's service password dash encryption and if you type enter that puts a type 7 encryption on all of your passwords so for instance I can do a control C on my keyboard go back to privileged user mode and now if I look at my running configuration file uh, show space run tab to see the full command hit enter and you can see that the enable password has a type 7 encryption on it now it used to say this used to say enable password Cisco because the password is Cisco now you can see the encrypted type 7 password and if you hit the spacebar and go down in the configuration file here to the bottom you can see that the console port also has been encrypted with type 7 encryption and the VTY remote terminal passwords have also been encryption uh, encrypted with the type 7 now the problem with this is that this type of um, encryption is not very secure anymore so if you were to copy this let's say you could copy that right and go to a website I've got a website here um, IFM uh, pa Cisco password cracker and type paste in the password right I mean the, in the encryption the encrypted password and click crack password you can see that it reveals the Cisco text the password quite easily so this type of encryption is now pretty easy to crack so you want to go beyond just this type of encryption now quick thing that you can do is to change the type 7 password on the privileged user mode which is the enable password to an MD5 encryption which is a lot stronger form of encryption than the type 7 so let's do that that's a pretty easy one to do we'll just in privileged user mode type conf tab T or configure T to get to global config mode and then type uh, let's say enable secret and then you can type your password and now I'll put in Cisco Cisco one two three four for a longer password Cisco one two three four hit enter and now I'll do a control C show run which is short for running show running config and you can see that I now have an enable secret password of uh, MD5 type and you can take a look at this encrypted password and see that it's longer. It includes um, special characters, uh, lowercase and uppercase letters. It just it it just looks more. It looks stronger. Um, we're also going to need to get rid of this one. So to get rid of this password, we'll just say conf t, which is short for configure terminal, and say no enable password Cisco if we do that uh, we don't need the password at the end no enable password how about that great control C show run 
and you can see now all you have is your enable secret password and so now we have a little bit of encryption on our passwords to our management interfaces on our router.